The CMS teacher I spoke with earlier today says he will not let fear tactics on social media by parents stop him from being vocal. He says at the end of the day, teachers are not the enemy during this time. Teachers are, are just doing the best that we can to um, you know, to keep our educational system afloat. CMS teacher Justin Parmenter took to Facebook yesterday after his name surfaced in a private Facebook group for parents against remote learning. They called him a ringleader and says he's to blame for CMS going remote. This is a pandemic. You know, your teachers are not your enemy. Um, we need to be able to have civil conversations and, and work towards solutions even when we disagree. There was even a suggestion for someone to follow him around town to see if he's following safety protocols. I'm, I'm taking it seriously, even though I'm at the same time hoping that this is just people who are blowing off steam on social media. He's still confused on why he's being targeted since he says he's not the it's only like, teacher to speak like, out against in-person learning. It feels reckless and irresponsible to be conducting in-person learning. And so I, I, you know, as painful as it is to say, um, I do think that right now we the safest place for us all to be is at home. As we saw this week, parents in favor of in-person learning took it up a notch with protests. They rallied for students to be in the classroom because they're anxious and failing classes. He says he understands their side, but believes there are other issues that need to be handled before fully returning. Air circulation, which is also, you know, a, a contributing factor having no air circulation is, um, you know, is is not good during a pandemic when the virus is hanging in the air. Now he did say he received an apology from one of the participants who made comments, but not from the one who said that people should follow him around. Reporting in Charlotte, Linnea Lewis, Fox 46.